Okay, I want to take you through some uh, quick numbers to show you exactly where we stand in Utah, how we compare to states around us, and then something really interesting about what's happening in Utah and other Western states, in particular communities that stand out. So these are the numbers overall uh, in, in Utah. You see, for a long time, we just had one case up until March 9th, and then we just started to grow, at some points uh, even doubling in a day, eventually a big jump yesterday, not as big a jump today, and so that's good, although one day doesn't mean a whole lot. So, how are we doing compared to other states? This is the number of cases we have per 100,000 people, a good way to, to look at it. Colorado has more, although they're measuring more people. They include people who haven't tested positive, but who have symptoms and know someone who's tested positive. Utah, next from Colorado, and Nevada has a rate very close to Utah's. Idaho, Wyoming, more rural states, they might not be testing as much, as well as Arizona. Not sure why that's so much lower. Then, look at where we stand in Utah by county. Look at this, Utah County, Weber, Morgan, Davis, Salt Lake. These are all the counties that have a significant number of cases. The national average? 16 cases per 100,000. Now remember in Utah we're 9.3 and so we're actually doing better than the national average but look at what's happening with Wasatch and Summit counties. So look at similar places across the West. First of all, United States, remember, 16 per capita is the average. Summit County, Colorado, that's where Breckenridge is. They have more than the national average. Wasatch County, Utah, that's, uh, well, we know Wasatch County. Blaine County, Idaho is where Sun Valley is, and they have a lot of cases, the biggest in, biggest number of cases in Idaho. Pitkin County, that's, that's where Aspen is. Gunnison County, Colorado, Crested Butte Ski Resort, Eagle County, Colorado, Vail, and then we know Summit County, Utah, Park City, and Deer Valley. It's these destination towns in the West that have really suffered. I'm going to keep on top of these numbers as well as I can and keep you updated. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.